okay so last week uh, we studied about antichrist uh, we came to know that uh, the antichrist is not uh, an individual but a system and what is the meaning of that word antichrist uh, mosam brother can you tell me what is the meaning of that word antichrist as per the bible is about last uh, last week class or uh, the, the before before that one we had the last uh, class you know uh antichrist means uh, who is against the christ no very good okay who is against christ so uh the one who knows christ but who who goes against very good the teaching do doctrine no very good very good so teaching false things false doctrines yeah. against christ correct now brother yeah brother good good thank you so we studied how the false doctrines crept inside the church when the apostles and all were uh, awake when they were all alive so satan could not come into the church so once they all uh, passed away in death so satan took a little bit of opportunities and came uh, inside uh, the church uh, through false doctrines therefore apostle paul also uh, warned that after my departure uh, what will happen uh, many people will come in uh, uh, sheep clothing wolf in sheep clothing and deceive the brethren and draw the disciples after them uh, by false doctrine anyway we studied how this false doctrine is crept inside uh, regarding the two parable we studied so the parable of the mustard seed and the parable of the leaven how uh, you see the mustard plant was supposed to grow but a tree grew and how the birds of the air came and nested there and uh, how we have seen that uh, leaven uh, you see added to the three meals uh, uh what it got completely corrupted so uh initially when the church uh, you see was established it was established in five places okay in jerusalem in antioch in uh, egypt in constantinople and rome these are the five places where the churches were established so we all know that it began from jerusalem then uh, antioch uh, the first way the christians were called and constantinople and rome we all know apostle paul's journey and alexandria that means uh, today's egypt so these are the places where uh, the churches were established so in these places uh, there were little little churches so in those days there used to be no building they used to gather as uh, we gather these days in cottage meeting like small small houses okay and each and every small small church is to have a lot of pastors you see and the cluster of all the pastors they used to have a bishop like uh, in jerusalem there were lot of uh, you see churches all the churches uh, pastors gathered together and they used to have one bishop so in these five places what happened there were five bishops uh, you see now what is the meaning of that word pastor bishop and all if you see this is all actually a same word with a root word uh, minister you can read mark 1045 brother mark 1045 mark 1045 brother mark 1045 right mm. okay so here uh for seven for even the son of man came not to be minister unto but to minister and to give him life or ransom for many very good so here the son of man came not to be ministered means what came not to be served but he came to serve serve means what do huh? servant like uh, work you see dedicate his life you see uh, do things uh, for others uh, so that's the meaning of actually the work of a pastor and a bishop all these are uh, same uh, words see nowadays we call minister whom do we call minister chief minister you very big person actually the word minister is a servant uh, chief minister means what chief servant chief servant of the entire nation so he should be a servant one who is serving the people so in these uh, five places there were five bishops five chief servants then what happened 
is slowly once the apostles died a competition began among these five bishops you see and uh, you see uh, the congregation was divided into two parts one was the clergy that means the people who take up the administration activities and other is the laity the laity is the people who just come and sit and go they don't have any participation in the church activities like administration activities okay the clergy are the people who organize the meetings or sing the choir who give sermons who give teachings who offer prayers okay who sing songs and all these things but laity are the just ordinary people who came and is go so what happened it was like uh, something like uh, in a airplane if you go there is a business class and economy class so the two classes were clearly divided in the church so the laity class the ordinary people used to look very high to the clergy class people because of their dedication because of their sacrifice as we is out of the people look about the, those sitting in a business class oh very rich very dignified so similarly this spirit came inside the church the other people because they used to give reverence to the lord dedication and uh, you see and respect to them and this uh, motivated these bishops to dress themselves more grandly you see they began to wear more costly dresses and uh, you see very very attractive dresses than compared to all the people so this uh, got them more reverence and more uh, you see respect and more honor among the people you see uh, actually these are all the work uh, you see of the servants god has given various uh, types of people in the church what is the reason for god giving them you see this is our work so this is not to be worn as a cloak for show off so what happened the church instead of doing activities showing the dedication in the work for christ you see they began to do only outward things read ephesians 4 chapter 11 to 13 brother ephesians 4 chapter 11 to 13 read ephesians 4:13 4:11 4, to 13 brother most brother ah uh, okay brother and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of christ till we all came in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of god unto a perfect man unto the measure of strict structure of the fullness of christ very good so all this are the work uh, which god has given so that everybody can come to the image of christ but uh, what has happened the church uh, you see lost the complete spirit uh, so instead of coming to the image of christ you see they began to seek honor and respect of men you see uh, christ uh, actually you see many times warned the pharisees and sadducees that you seek uh, honor of men then honor of god as the you see uh, uh, people gave uh, more respect to these pastors because of the dedication and because of their holy service they used to call them by that same work they do you see they call them by pastor how are you oh servant of the lord oh please welcome oh, oh. Huh? then na uh, slowly what happened uh, the titles began to come in uh, father spiritual father who oh, is spiritual father why because take care of spiritual activities uh. but what did jesus say can we call somebody as father should we call somebody as father or not ayyo yo yes sir no what does the bible say om brother krishna brother mausam brother no. tell me No, 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 no. No, correct. No, no. Matthew twenty-three nine. Hmm. Read. 
डेट मैट ट्वेंटी थ्री नाइन बताया रीड बार रीड फ्रॉम द स्क्रीन बस अब मदर रीड आह ओके ब्रदर एंड कॉल नो मैन योर फादर अपॉन द ऑर्ड फॉर वन इज योर फादर व्हिच इज इन हेवन आह वन इज योर फादर व्हिच इज इन हेवन सो जीसस टोल नॉट टू कॉल एनीबडी एस फादर बट टुडे व्हाट एप्पन स्लोली दैट Pastor, Bishop, Father, slowly titles are what? Kim. Then slowly what happened? Uh, some people completely dedicate their life, you see, uh, to service of the Lord, hundred percent full time ministry. Uh, and uh, slowly what happened? That saint uh, title was attached to them. Yeah, actually, the word saint is a short form of the word sanctified. You see, sanctified. Uh, let us read. First Corinthians one two brother. First Corinthians one two. Read please kindly anybody. Ah, uh, home brother, Krishna brother. If you are all active, if you have the Bible, read read please. Or else, most brother, you can please continue reading. Yeah. Okay, brother. Onto the thoughts of God, which is at Corinthians. To them that are sanctified in Jesus Christ, in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, with all that is in every place, call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. See them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. Sir. These are the ones who are called to be saints. So who are saints? Not only some particular people, but who all are cleansed and made holy. That is sanctified by the blood of Jesus. They are all called to be saints. What happens only for the particular people? The title was given. So slowly, what happened? Angge, huh? You see, the church began to deviate more and more from the doctrine of Christ. What does the Bible say? Huh? For God and man, Jesus is the mediator. But slowly, what happened? You see, more mediators were added. Saint Anthony R. Saint uh, uh, John, Saint Nicholas, Saint Xavier, Saint uh, Teresa, Saint Mary. So all these mediators were happen, added, claiming these are the ones through whom which we need to go to God. So then what happened? Then uh, slowly the name Reverend was also added as a title. Now in the Bible, who is called as reverend? Anybody? Any idea? Who is called as reverend in the Bible? Let us Jesus read. Christ. Huh? Jesus Christ. Ah, let us read Psalms one hundred eleven nine, brother. Psalms one hundred eleven nine. Read more, brother. He sent, yeah, he sent redemption unto his people. He had commanded his command. Covenant for ever holy and revered in His name. Holy and reverend is His name. So whose name? God's name. God's name is reverend. It seems that means He's so holy and so pure. That is the meaning of that word reverend. But today, you see, man began to put this title before His name. You see, man was created much lower than the angels. Psalm eight, chapter four and five. But fallen man is still little bit lower than the perfect man. And how can a fallen man huh, imagine to keep the name which is equal to God? Can man be equal to God? When uh, Lucifer wanted to be equal to God, God that one only did not like it. You see, that was pride in him. And imagine if he keep titles which belongs to God, is it correct? These are the characters of God's children. They began to keep all these things as a title, dear brethren. Okay, not only just use it, but put uh, aside for the name. Besides the name, they used to put all these things and all in those days, uh, dear brethren. So actually, this is how the church deviated from the truth. You see, nowadays also so many people put a prefix for the name, like doctor, 
और हॉनरेबल जस्टिस उसी कैप्टन कर्नल जनरल तो वही दिस टाइटल्स आर गिवन वही दिस प्रीफिक्स आर गिवन इफ यू देयर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन व्हेन एवर वी बुक अ प्लेन टिकट और अ ट्रेन टिकट यूजुअली देयर इज अ वेटिंग लिस्ट सी ऑन द वेटिंग लिस्ट if you find any doctor or a general or a colonel the first preference will be given to them why because such a big plane or a train if something happens if one doctor is there he can save so many lives that is the reason to identify it easily this prefix was added but now today what has happened in christianity it has become a fashion so similarly among these five bishops his competition began first it began in uh, you see position then it began in adding the titles a uh, names uh, you see all the work they did they began to add it in their names then they began to wear glorious robes different different costly robes uh, they used to come like as if they coming for a red carpet walk or is in a circus you see no huh? so many different different varieties of dresses so similarly they used to come with him sir dear brethren you see this created you see a complete differentiation among the church and ordinary people had nothing to do with the church activities so as the days went on you see uh, the constantin you see emperor was there he was the ruler of rome and uh, during those days the capital of the world was rome so constantine emperor one day he had to go for a war and it seems that he saw a cross on the sky and because of that vision he won the battle and after winning the battle he inquired what is that cross what is the meaning of the cross then everybody began to tell that that's the symbol of christians then he decided to baptize himself and uh, convert to christianity so he never converted to christianity because of love of christ or his teachings no just some you see some site he saw and because of that he converted to christianity and when the king himself has got converted to christianity he began to offer to everybody in his empire anybody if he comes to christianity i will give him job in my you see empire ah uh, you will get married we'll arrange for the marriage will you say it's benefits lot of things were given this is why the concept of conversion actually came into the world so we will ask now uh, how much did they give you how much did they pay you for converting this all began with constantin emperor only so as offers were given lot of people began to come into the church you see then small small churches was not at all sufficient they used to organize and gather in the houses that's what bible says but once thousands thousands came what happened the place was not sufficient then what happened the bishops used to approach the king for the place imagine king what would he do he offered a great place for them okay build build cathedrals no he built small small places ha huh? king's capacity king's power is there so king granted them full power to build huge cathedrals where thousands of people is to gather together so as building began to grow very very huge and all lot of people is to come all these people remember they never came because of love of christ neither did they know about the bible not the teachings of the bible nothing so once they came in you see it was difficult for the bishops to hold them strong in the church why because as the days went on there was no functions in the church no no celebration no functions no festivals nothing but in their religion every now and then there was a lot of festivals so slowly people began to go then what happened to attract those people the same things what they were all doing to other gods they began to do to here yeah, to god you see there they were doing to god's mother god's father so here what happened similarly jesus is god so jesus is mother is my god put a sari for her decorator light the candle put for flowers 
take uh, you see uh, pilgrims uh, put statues all these things came with them. all the things they were doing for other gods they told we will do for these gods same no god 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 one no difference we are not doing uh, other gods idols so our god idol we are doing it not so this is how all the rituals in bab in what do you say pagan rome began to come into papal rome so then what happened you see uh, so many people had come thousands of people so if uh, actually at that time bishop was working he used to earn go a salary job and uh, earn and run the places uh. but uh, so many people are there if the bishop goes for work uh, then who will take care of the so many people then the king told you don't go to but i will pay you so if your house is far from the church the how will the people approach you so you built a house behind the church therefore you see you no know, today what is there a big cathedral is there back side the cathedral whose house is there bishop's house is there oh then if king builds a bishop of how will he build he will build like a small hut he began to build with a grand houses to the bishops so then salary is not there means how will the bishop run his family so king is to pay him salary huge salaries those days so everybody thought this is the best job no need to study nothing just preach something uh, and uh, mesmerize the people everybody will be paid well so everybody used to run uh, for this job it seems to be there why because easy way to make money house you will get every convenience will be born by king emperor nothing no problem at all so lot of people began to study theology and bible colleges were opened only fake colleges only things uh, that is spoken out of the bible this is so slowly what happened here but then you see this is how the church got corrupted and that time suddenly you see the rome's capital was shifted from rome to constantinople why constantine emperor so he shifted to his very place constantinople so at rome there was no emperor so all these days the world's capital was rome to suddenly many problems were there people did not know how to handle his problems so whenever there was a problem the only person they could identify and approach was the bishop Immediately, the entire Rome city began to depend on the Bishop of Rome. So slowly, what happened? Bishop of Rome began to get that recognition, the hype before the society. And uh, you see, uh, he used to do what all he wanted to do within his own wish. You see, and uh, that is the time. You see that uh, Justinian, after uh, you see Constantine Nopal died. Justinian came to power. So Justinian, he was a very orthodox religious person. You see, and that time uh, the kings used to have a title, Pontifex Maximus, chief religious ruler. The title was there. This was given to actually uh, Justinian. Justinian told, "Oh, yo, this holy title and all, I can't wear. I am a sinner. I have don't. Uh, I have no uh, authority to take this one. So let this one be given to." Uh, bishop of Rome, he told. Then what happened to the other bishops? All the other five bishops uh, got wild. Huh? Why should I give to this uh, bishop of Rome? We are there, no? Give it to us also. So what happened? Slowly, fight began to happen among the five bishops. Then Justinian saw when they could not be controlled, he put a law. All the four bishops. You recognize the bishop of Rome as your father, and he is your papa. And if anybody doesn't agree, they will be killed. Immediately, what happened? All the four bishops surrendered to the bishop of Rome, calling him as papa. Papa in Latin was called as pope. That is how you see the title pope came into existence. All the bishops, all the pastors began to recognize. The, the roman bishop as the pope so this is our rebren the pope actually came into existence none of them had the knowledge of the bible nothing you see and you know what is the meaning of uh, pontifex maximus 
Pontifex Maximus means chief religious ruler. You see, maximum, uh, minimum, uh, you see, no? mini, maxi, midi. Uh, is there no? Uh, the maximum is what? Maximum religious ruler and Pope. Uh, since then, he claimed to be holy father of Pope. Uh, what does the Bible say? Are we holy? There is none righteous. 81 1, the Bible says. But the bishop and the pope claim that they are infallible. They are holy. Read 1 John 1 8, brother. 1 John 1 8. 1 John 1 8. Uh, okay, brother. Hmm. 1 John 1 8. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we say that we are no sin, then we are deceiving ourselves. He claimed that we are no sin at all. Infallible, holy father of fathers is him, sir. Everybody, fathers are there. Among all the fathers, he is the holiest of the holy fathers is him, sir. Then, other titles which Pope claimed, uh, chief pastor, pastors of pastor. Jesus is called as a pastor, no? And the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So, shepherd means what? A pastor. So, he's the chiefest of all the pastor is him, sir. Most divine of all the heads. Eh? Jesus said, no, who is head of the church? Jesus. So, he claimed, oh, this, I am I am Jesus on this earth. You see, he claimed all the title belonging to Jesus for himself. The Christ by uh, unction. Unction means what? Uh, by anointing. As God has anointed Jesus. Similarly, God has specially anointed me. Uh, Abraham by patriarch. Abraham was a very faithful because of faith. Uh, very famous for his faith. He was a friend of God. So similarly, I have a communication with God. Uh, I have a friend of God. Uh, then Melchizedek in order. You see, Abraham gave a, uh, one tenth of the his property to Melchizedek. So everybody give the property to me. I am Melchizedek. Higher than Abraham. You see, and uh, Moses in authority. Moses, how we ruled, how we led the people of Israel to Canaan. So I am the one who leading uh, you all to heavenly Canaan. That's what they claimed, dear brethren. And the high priest, how high priest you should dress now in very glorious robe. That is how they are dressing, claiming all this thing from the unscriptural. You see, things uh, which are actually mentioned for the priest at those times. You see, dear brethren, so confession. Huh? Then uh, Pope, uh, you see, told, what all you sin, you sin. You come and confess to the fathers, immediately what will happen? All your sins will be forgiven. And that is the time the Vatican City was built. You know how it was built? Uh? Huh? They used to sell tickets, uh, forgiveness tickets. Uh, that is called indulgences. You see, every sin you commit, you pay five rupees, immediately your sins will be forgiven. Your grandfather who is in hell, he is suffering, you pay 100 rupees, immediately you will be giving a transfer certificate from hell to heaven. Based on these teachings, everybody were ignorant. The no, Bible was a dead language. They paid huge offerings. In that amount only, today the Vatican City is built. And even today, Pope claims that he has two keys, two keys to hell and heaven. Whomever he wants, he can send it to heaven. Whomever he doesn't want, he can send it to hell. And Everybody had to accept his teachings during those days. Anybody who violated his teachings, dear brethren, they were systematically slaughtered. They were not even, you see, huh? spared at all. And during those days, you see, the barbarians, uh, you see, uh, attacks was there on the Rome. So, see, the barbarians are the wild people. They are not like uh, systematic soldiers of the Roman Empire. They used to have. A very wild, uh, you see, uh, warfare. Whenever uh, they wanted to attack, uh, you see, uh, anybody, they should take uh, huge, uh, you see, hammers, axe, everything, and uh, slaughter everybody and hit it on the air, they break open the skull. They, they had no mercy. And the Roman army was so disciplined, it was really very well dressed. But seeing the approach of the war, the Roman army also feared to meet this uh, and face these barbarians. Uh, and that is the time the king fed up and surrendered his entire army also to the Pope. Then Pope observed what is the weakness of these barbarians. The barbarians are very orthodox people. So one day when the barbarians came to attack Rome, he clearly told 
beware on my left hand there are uh, curses if i curse like this you will all go to hell fire right now in front of everybody the earth will open you'll all die i am a right hand there are blessings you will all go to heaven as soon as the bishop claim all these promises and all immediately the barbarians who are very religious they surrendered to pope the kings are without even lifting one sword how the pope clearly destroyed the barbarians the king also got surrendered to pope you see the king completely surrendered uh, since then if any new king has to be anointed you know who is anointed it was only by the authority of the pope pope has to crown him and anoint to anoint him it seems the king has to walk on his knees come to the pope remove his socks and kiss his feet it seems or else he will become angry why because he is given in the bible no read psalm second chapter with us psalm second chapter psalms 2 psalms 2 from the way Mm. when his warmth is kindled but a little a little mm. bless are all they that put their trust in him mm. so all the titles uh, which belong to christ was acclaimed by pope that is the reason he says of thessalonians he will sit as god and like god everybody worship him similar literally all these things happened he claimed that see bible is there bible speaks kiss the son or else you'll perish from the way if you don't kiss me you will all be killed that's what you see the pope is to rule like kings on this earth brother now to identify them jesus gave us a clue okay he told to go and read the book of daniel So let us read Matthew twenty four fifteen, brother. Matthew twenty four fifteen. When you therefore shall see the abomination of dissolution spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Who did it? Let him understand. Hmm. You see, ah, huh? when you therefore shall see. the abomination of desolation spoken of by daniel standing in the holy place holy place means what huh? who is the holy who is the uh, church of the living god who is holy place we so once if we see that these things are taking place in the church this is abomination that make it desolate then what did jesus say who so readeth let him understand that means now we need to read in the book of daniel and understand what book of daniel says about this great antichrist where is it given it is given in daniel 7th chapter so next week when we join i request everybody to read daniel 7 chapter and come so that we can clearly see the other things of antichrist okay so let us stop here so we'll continue so next uh, week so i request everybody to please read daniel 7 chapter and come